With Quill Forms, you can collect any type of payments. You can create orders, accept donations or set up subscriptions for your business easily with Quill Forms. Let's see how to set up payments in your forms. Here, we have a t-shirt order form, and each t-shirt has a different price. I have a picture choice question to let customers choose their favorite t-shirts. I will add the price beside each choice label, so the customers know the price of each t-shirt. In the next question, we are asking the user if he would like to add a custom donation as well. If he answers with, yes, we will display this number question to let him add his custom amount of donation. I will hit, publish, then hit the payments tab to set up the payment. I will scroll down to general settings and enable payments. I will accept payments in USD so I won't change the currency. The currency format setting is to adjust the position of the currency whether it should be on right or left. I will keep it the same. The next step is to set up my products. You can add one or multiple products depending on your use case. When you add a new product, you have to select your product source. Select defined price option if your product has a fixed amount. In my case, I have a fixed amount for transportation, so I will use this option and change the product name to transportation, then I will set the fixed amount price to be $33. If you select numeric fields like number fields or slider fields, the price of the product will be captured automatically from the user input. This is perfect for donation forms. If you are going to select multiple choice question or picture choice one, you have to define the price for each choice. I will use this to define the price for each t-shirt in my store. Finally, if you have more complex calculations, you can use the variables option. The variables are fetched from calculator variables in the logic add-on. With the logic add-on, you can add mathematical operations to these variables after each question answer. This is perfect for complex cost estimations. I don't need the variable option and now, I am all set with my products. Let's jump to the payment model section, and here we define if the price of the products should be paid one time or with a subscription. You can enable subscription with turning on recurring payment option. You have as well the option to use your payment model depending on conditional logic. I don't need this option for now and I don't need the recurring payment option as well. You can have one model or multiple ones depending on your business logic but remember when you add multiple models, you should add conditional logic for each one to let Quill Forms decide which model will be used. In my case, I have only one model and it is only one time payment model, so I don't need to change any option in the default payment model. Last section is payment methods and here I should pick my favorite payment gateways and in my case I will choose Stripe Checkout and Stripe Elements. The default payment gateway is the first one and I can reorder them easily. After finishing everything, I will click on save and let's test our form now. I will start with my name and jump to the next question. I will pick the blue polo t-shirt and the yellow soccer one. I want to add $12 as a custom donation as well. Now, I am done. Let's hit, submit. Great, here is my order details. First, I have the fixed price amount for transportation. Secondly, I have the custom donation amount I have set. Then, I have the products I have picked. The total is $95. I will select my favorite payment method. I will select Stripe Elements, or you can call it Stripe Inline Checkout. I am adding my card details. I will hit pay now. Well done, my payment is completed. Let's check if I have received this payment in my Stripe account. Great, I have received the payment successfully and everything works fine. 